The morning after a big storm is a day for some people to get up early, wax up the surfboards, and head out to the beach. South Korea is relatively new to surfing, but some here are clearly hooked on the sport, and they're kind enough to share the waves with a beginner from out of town. That's really fun. And the crazy thing is everybody's out here surfing, and we're pretty close to North Korea. We're just a short drive from the demilitarized zone, South Korea's border with North Korea. The coastline here dotted with military bases. Long stretches of the beach fortified with razor wire, guard towers, and security cameras. This area is heavily militarized to protect against the threat of possible North Korean incursions. But it's also home to some of the best waves in South Korea. So if you want to surf, sometimes you literally have to go through the fence. And this is what surfing looks like near the DMZ. The military and the surf community somehow coexist on the same shores. Too cold. This is trippy, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just too to really used to it, but you know, a lot of foreigners, they come over, they see the scene, they're like, wow. Lee Hyung Ju runs a surf camp on a beach that, until like a few the... years ago, was off limits to civilians. I'm just here about 200 meters, uh, about 300 meters is an artillery base. North Korean trash regularly washes up on the beach here. It's sometimes you find like um, North Korean cigarette packs. Of trash, of course. Also, Kidding. some water bottles. Lee hopes the current talks between Pyongyang and Seoul may one day lead to real peace with South Korea's northern neighbor. If the Korean North Korean relations get better, then I don't think they'll have use for these barbed wires anymore, right? And also the military bases on the beach, which means more opportunities for tourist business like us. That yearning for peace shared by Kwon Min Ju and her boyfriend. We love peace and waves. Yeah. Yeah. Every weekend, the couple drives three hours from Seoul to surf here. One day, they hope they can keep driving through the DMZ. I think there is a very good place for surfing. In North Korea? <laughs> yes, yes. So maybe we can go there and surf one day. And, you know, I don't think I'll be sneaking through any fences to get into North Korea anytime soon to surf there. But, yeah, if it's, if it's possible... Uh, I'd love to check it out. For now, people like Canadian Jake McFadden can only dream of chasing that elusive North Korean wave. Surfers stoked for the day when peace may come to these shores. Ivan Watson, CNN, at the 38th Parallel Beach in South Korea.